Hi guys, it's me again. This is part two of our health series. For those who uh, joined us on the first Facebook Live series, we talked a lot about uh, the importance of getting a health insurance. And I always tell people it's very, 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 very important for you to get your own health insurance for the very reason that it creates a uh, shroud of hedging. Uh, should things uh, not go your way, the uh, insurance will be able to take care of it and they can somehow protect you from additional expenses so that you don't have to touch uh, your retirement, your investments, and everything else in between, and they take care of all of the sudden emergencies that uh, come, would come your way. Second is, uh, I would, I, I told you before the previous video ended for you to create your own uh, health fund, for you to create your own fund that will protect you, that would hedge you from uh, any uh, any expenses, any untoward expenses that would would. Uh, would pertain to your health. So what does that mean? Uh, for those who've been following me also for quite some time, I will always talk about that every peso has a name, that for everything that you would uh, spend on or prepare for or budget on, you must name every peso, meaning um, everything has to have an intended plan for it. Like for example, retirement. I would tell people that you set aside money for retirement, you set aside uh, money that when you don't decide to work, um, you get to live your life on your own terms because Okay na kayo eh. You're able to set aside that even if you don't work anymore, the money that you set aside will allow you and to allow you to live your lives normally and do the expenses that you've started to create. I've, I've also been telling people to create an educational fund. I For those who read my book, Where Should You Invest? I mentioned about creating an emergency fund. I also mentioned though that you create your own buffer fund, meaning a buffer fund is something that if you're, a, if you're an entrepreneur, you are a... Uh, you, you are a person who's not... Uh, who's, who does not... Who does not receive fixed income, yung income nyo on a regular basis is relatively volatile. Creating a buffer fund will protect you that uh, kung may business ka, you have 12 months worth of operational expenses that even if the business does not do well, you will still be okay and you still get to function properly. So that's how you can actually do it. You can segment your money to different funds that those funds are the ones that will uh, parang, that will be your cash cows that you can use uh, should certain things happen. Uh, one thing that you must remember is every peso must have a name. I repeat, every peso must have a name. And for this, your health fund is a fund that you will use for emergencies. This is on top of your emergency fund. This is on top of your buffer fund. This is also on top of uh, your health bill because there, are, there will be a lot of expenses when you're in the hospital. So uh, this is something that you can add on on a regular basis because you have to understand also that the older you get, uh, you might not be insured already by insurance. When you hit 60, 70, 80, well, this, is, this will be something that will uh, help you. But should there, sickness, should there be anything that would require medical attention in the next few years, uh, this is something that you can also use. Meaning, uh, what will be covered by this? You will use your... Uh, this, is, this will be used to be back to, for you to be able to pay for medicine, for hospital fees, for accommodations in the hospital, for food inside, miscellaneous activities that happen there, laboratory equipment, uh, laboratory procedures, and, and all of those like. So what do you do? Uh, part of your budget is you can add uh, per, I don't know, per, per month or every time money comes your way, you put it in as a regular form of your savings. So you add money into the stock market for your investments, you add money for uh, for your retirement, you add money also for the business fund that you like to create, you add money for uh, tourism, but you have to remember also that uh, health is well. Uh, the people that are important to you, of course, one of the biggest things that you need also to set aside and can be smaller, uh, how much do you need to put, it can actually be smaller than uh, than what you put for retirement, it can be smaller also than what you could put for emergency fund. It can be smaller than all of those amounts. It can be also smaller than your educational fund. But what's important is you start something, you create something that you can use on a regular basis so that uh, you don't know what will happen. So you have a hedge. It's not about, again, being morbid or talking about things that may happen in the bad, but it's about you preparing also for your uh, future as well. So, Ewan, uh we're about to check out the hospital, uh, but it's been an amazing... Uh, amazing ride, everything. You always have to be optimistic about about life, about things that are going on. So, I guess that's it. Uh, I'll be doing be doing more videos uh, in the next few days. Again, we'll be doing our stocks by request uh, again uh, in the next few days, and uh, I'll be taklawan also.